Namaste. In this video, I'm going to present some of the commonly used astrological words or terms, how they have to be pronounced. So, uh, we have, because I've been watching so many uh, VA videos in which the pronunciation is lacking, correct pronunciation is lacking. They try to do get the words, but if they are articulated with the correct intonation of the Sanskrit uh, word, the padam, then it will give more uh, energy to, to whom they are talking to. So the first, uh, the purusharthas, what we call, the, the words are dharma, artha, kama, moksha. So I keep hearing dharma, karma, um, which does not make any sense uh, when they articulate because the, the art, pay, place of articulation is very, very important as I told you. So dharma, karma, Artha, Moksha, Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha, Karma. Karma Pala only, the fruit of our actions only are placed in our natal chart. So, we have to take it correctly. Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. The four terms, so to be correctly used. And there are dashas, different dashas explained in our uh, uh, astrological system. The Vimshottari Dasha. Dasha means a condition or the existing position. The placement of the planet and what it actuates or what it promotes to the owner of the chart. So Vimshottari Dasha. And we will we are familiar with the Bhukti. Bhukti. That means what a person is going to enjoy from the root Bhuj to enjoy. Bhukti. Because Mukti refers to salvation in the same way Bhukti means enjoyment, what they are going to. And then Antar Dashaha, the Dashas under the main Dashas, Mahadashas. So Antar, Antar means between, between the two Mahadashas, in between the Dashas, what are you getting? Antar Dashas, Dashaha. And then the divisional charts, you know, as we are, we all uh, read it, D1, D9, D10, D12 and all those things. So, D1 is Rashi that we all know. D9 is Navamshaha. Nine Amshas, nine different features are going to be talked about. Nava plus Amsha. This also, uh, Amsha means a part of it. A okay, part of it will be uh, coming from the nine planets. So, Nava Amsha becomes Navamshaha. Navamshaha. The Shah is again the Shiva Shah. So, Navam Shaha. Then is Dasham Shaha. Dasham Shaha. Both are Shiva Shahs. Dasha means the D10 will be described as Dasha Amshaha. Dasham Shaha. Dasham Shaha. Next is D12. That is Dwa Dasham Shaha. Dwa Dasham Shaha. Dwa means 2. Dasha is 10. 2 plus 10, 12. Dwa Dasham Shaha. The next one is D16, it is show dasham shaha. Show is exactly the day shoe, shine, that sha we are using. Show da sham shaha. Show da sham shaha. And then D27, which is representing the this, uh, dwa vimshatihi nakshatrani, the 27. So it is uh, nakshatram shaha. Nakshatram shaha. And D60, the Sashtyam Shaha. Sashti, refer, Sashti refers to the 60, the ordinal. So it becomes uh, the cardinal. Cardinal is 60. So the D60 is Sashtyam Shaha. And we'll just see some of the words representing some yogas. Raja Yoga. Raja Yoga. And you cannot extend the yoga like that. Raja Yoga. And then Gaja Kesari Yoga. Gaja referen, uh, represents the elephant. Kesari represents the lion. So it becomes Gaja Kesari Yogaha. And then Chandra Mangala Yogaha. Chandra Mangala Yogaha. And then Nicha Bhanga Raja Yogaha. Nicha, the malefic uh, planet, when it is Bhanga, it is destroyed, the yoga will be, the result will be the Raja Yoga. Double negative makes a positive. So Nicha Bhanga Raja Yogaha and then Kala Sarpa Yogaha 
கால சர்ப யோகா கிரகமாலிகா யோகா அண்ட் தர்ம கர்மாதிபதி யோகா தர்ம கர்மாதிபதி யோகா ஸோ ப்ளீஸ் ட்ரை டு இஃப் யூ ட்ரெயின் யுவர் டங் இட் வில் நாட் ஃபெயில் யூ ஸோ ப்ளீஸ் ட்ரெயின் யுவர் டங் டு ப்ரொனன்ஸ் வேர்ட்ஸ் கிளியர்லி அண்ட் த ப்ளேஸ் ஆஃப் ஆரிஜின் இஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் இன் அட்டரிங் தி சம்ஸ்கிருத பதாஸ் தேங்க்யூ